Hey guys, welcome to a Groundbreak Games tutorial on how to use the Paragon assets to do something cool. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is get the uh, character into the engine and replace the third person character um, so you can be running around and kind of have a template to start messing around with. Uh, so you'll have to get the engine um, on your own. I'm not going to show you how to do that. There's a million videos out there. Um, that would explain that. It's pretty simple. Just uh, go to the Epic website and get your account set up and then download the engine. Um, download the Epic software and then make sure that uh, to use the Paragon characters uh, you want the engine version 4.19 that just released. Um, and the engine version installation is right here. Just click the plus sign, pick the version you want and go ahead and install that. Uh, and you can pause the video here if you haven't done that and get that taken care of so you can kind of catch up to us and then uh, go ahead and play when you're ready. All right, so um, now that we have that out of the way and the engine is fully installed, um, we want to go to the marketplace and uh, get go to the free tab that they uh, thankfully installed for us to search quickly through all the awesome free assets that Unreal provides. Um, and for this particular tutorial, I'm going to use Quang because uh, he has a cool sword and I'm a big sword fan. So um, go ahead and pick one that you want. It shouldn't really matter. It's going to say free right here for you uh, it, or it'll send it to your cart. Go up to the cart and click on the asset in your cart and it'll say free. Just click on the free and then it will install it um, to your, your Epic software here, uh, your browser. And then you can hit uh, add to project when you're ready. So we need to create a project. Once you're to this point, it says add project instead of free. Um, go ahead and, and uh, allow that to install to the engine. And then uh, while that's happening, we'll go up here to 4.19 and just hit launch. Let that load, new project, and then we're just going to pick third person template. Uh, I, uh, you can leave the starter content in there if you want to. And I'm just going to rename this. And then, yeah, that's it. And then hit create project. Let that load. And then the first time uh, you install this asset to this project and I'm sorry for the buzz for some reason Unreal makes my desktop buzz uh, the first time you install this asset you're gonna wanna load the textures and let them load it's gonna take you a little while because there's a couple thousand textures for this character um, so what we'll do is once the project is opened up and we have it uh, ready to go that you can then come back over here Go down and find your character in your assets, hit add, and you should be able to add it to the, um, the project that we just created. That's going to take a minute to uh, in, install to the project, so I'll let that go ahead and, and happen, and I'll restart the video here in a second when that's all installed to um, our third person project. Okay, so it looks like we got Quang in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to retarget um, the skeleton of the third person character to, uh, to the Quang skeleton. And then we're going to just delete and replace the references to the Quang skeleton and then change out the mesh. So uh, sounds kind of complicated. It's really not. Uh, so the first thing you'll, you'll want to do is make sure that Quang is set up to retarget. So open his folder up, then characters, heroes, Quang, meshes, and then open his skeleton up. And this is the part, uh, if you haven't loaded him yet, you are probably going to get a lot of textures wanting to load here. So go ahead and let those load. And as soon as you're finished and ready, uh, unpause the video. 
Okay, so um, just double check that he is set to proto retarget for Paragon and uh, don't hit auto mapping or anything. You just leave it as it is and to be double safe, hit modify pose, use current pose, save, and then just make sure he has a preview mesh uh, in here. And then you close that out, go back to content, then you go into mannequin character mesh open up your uh, ue4 skeleton and then you're going to come over here to the auto mapping select rig and then you should see the paragon proto retarget rig uh, just hit that once and then come over here to modify pose use current pose save and then you'll close the persona out make sure you have no persona windows open up in here um, they don't it doesn't like it when you have those open so uh, now we're going to retarget this skeleton to Quang. So hit retarget. It's just going to ask you to make sure that you close persona, which I just said, so you shouldn't have any open. Then select the Quang skeleton. Make sure, um, oops, make sure that you have a mannequin in both windows. Um, if you don't, go back and, and check the steps again. You missed something. You have to have a, a mannequin in, in both windows or um, if there isn't, you might want to check the preview mesh and double check that there is one uh, in the persona window when you double click on the skeleton. Um, and if you have everything looking good, hit retarget. And you're going to see this uh, mesh kind of go into the A pose. That's fine. So what we want to do now is you can just hit delete and replace all the references with the Quang skeleton. Hit save. And then we uh, actually don't need the character at all anymore. So you can, if you want, uh, and you just want to keep this as tidy as you can, um, oh, don't don't actually delete that yet. I'm sorry. Go back to content folder and then go into third person BP blueprints third person character because uh, we have we're referencing the mesh the old mesh that's still in there. Um, so then up at the top left, click mesh. It's going to bring up over here uh, the option to change that and then just choose Quang. And then double check that your third person anmbp underscore c is still selected because uh, now all of the animations and blend space is retargeted to Quang instead. So um, we're going to go ahead and s compile and save that. And we'll do a save all. And now we can go back to mannequin character. And if you want, you can delete all that. And you shouldn't have any more. Um, oh, the references are the um, materials and, and whatnot that are already in that folder, so you can just force delete those. And then open this up and make sure you fix up redirectors. Hit save all just to be sure. And now we should be able to hit play. And Quang the man is uh, controllable and can use all of the blend space, the original blend space and um, control setup. So then you can begin to kind of get an idea of how to adjust that to your needs. Um, next video, I'll show you guys how to uh, get set up on Mixamo, get some cool free animations in if you want to get some from there. Um, and also, I'll take a look at the ones that Epic provided and see if we can uh, maybe make a cool blend space for this guy. Thanks for watching and stick around for the next video.